is part three of the collection storage videos and today is going to be the most requested of them all is the nail art supplies and um, just nail supply in general so we're going to get into that of the seven drawers I think about four of them are just set aside for nail stuff and I'm going to share with you what's in them so the very first one is it's just like toe separators and cuticle creams and just some like nail glues and nail like files um, a whole thing of files here I have bubble white for whitening a cuticle pen toenail clippers and fingernail clippers some just some random orange sticks laying around but lots of like toe separators and stuff also um this is a pill bottle or i mean a pill holder but i took and put fake nails in them to eliminate on space which i got this idea from maria and also i have some more fake nails and in this one i wanted to share with you is a bead box and it well, what I did on the back was label the brands and whatever if they have a name. That way if I photograph them, everyone will know um, where they, what they are and stuff. But I just put them in there. Just like that. Now you get to the gist of it. But that's really neat. I found that at a dollar store for a dollar. Next drawer is actually nail art. So I'm going to take this out place it here so I can show you everything that's in the drawer easily. I have just these little gems that I just got from LA Colors. All these little kiss stickers. There's a ton of them. They go down that deep. These nail dra dress from Kiss as well. Nail daughters, nail brushes, some more nail brushes, and yeah, they just keep going down. Water decals or nail tattoos, these nail art little thingies from Sally's, an empty wheel, extra rhinestones that like I take with me if I do like my friend's nails and stuff instead of taking all my wheels, they're just in little jars because there's uh, measured out more in the jars than there is in the wheels uh, for me and that's just what I take with me up here just miscellaneous wheels once again there's Pimo hearts and these like little glitter spangle like things fruits Fimos rhinestones Fimo butterflies just rhinestones and rhinestones dried flowers, some more Fimo slices, some more teardrop rhinestones, some metal rhinestone thingy decorations, some nail art pens, some half pearls in there, so just different thingies, some from Revlon nail stuff too, and a little um, nail rhinestone polish thingy. Here's some Fimo slices like Angry Birds and animals and some pumpkins or something in there and some big old fat rhinestones in there too so just in this little sachet um, little bagging and then in here we have striping tape uh, water decals that are Marilyn Monroe it's really cool I got them from eBay French tip guides eBay some little nail sticker transfers these water transfers striping tape and then all this box here is just like stickers and just some glitters and mainly stickers though tons and tons of stickers for nail art some I want off listia and stuff but that's all for that little container and it's like um an old uh Kotex box so you can use anything to you know make your collection more organized I use all kinds of different means of organizing collections drawer the third nail art drawer thingy is just completely random it has my nail soakers in there eBay 
some masking tape, a coffee filter, sponges, empty nail polish bottle, um, sponges, sponges, and um, just glitter, tape, and extra like eyebrow razors, and some little baggies for acrylic mixes or glitter mixes, whatever I need them for. And also, yard sales aren't just good for, um, well they're good for a lot of different things, finding different things at yard sales. But I even found a big package of cosmetic wedges for like 25 cents at a yard sale. I mean, you cannot beat that. I'm not going to use these on my face. I'm going to use them for nail art. So, no the last deal. nail art drawer, I have my Born Pretty set. That's the acrylic paint and the palettes. I have a hand in there. Some nail polish thinner. The Meiji nail art pens. And all of my striper polishes. This was a candle box. And I just took the divider out of it. And put my striper polishes in there. And I have some glitter. And a clear polish. All these little fake nails. I use them in my finger. My little practice fingers. A polish palette. And tons of nail wheels that have been swatched on. And nail arted up. Just like these have, and then there's a ton of blank ones. And then here I have the LA Girl polka dot sets for when I go and do other people's nails. And last but not least, I have some cone net or some bundle monster plates uh, for stamping and a, an acrylic nail box. So I'm gonna grab those and show them to for you. For the bundle monster plates, this is the Easiest thing I found to store these plates in, as well as other things, are these craft organizers from Walmart. And I got this for $2. So, I put my scraper stamper in here with special polish, the only one I got. And here's Salon Express stuff. So here's the Salon Express plates. Here is all my Bundle Monster plates. I got the... First kit, like the number one kit, the number two kit, and those are the ones that I got. But they just, you know, have like images and stuff on them like that. Most everybody knows what they are, but they're all housed here according to just one designs, half designs, French tips, and um, just single designs like this plate here. And then over here are all the Dollar Tree glitters and uh, different nail arts they had a while back, possibly still have, but there's like just glitter uh, vials, and there's some strip glitters, these like little metal steel beads for like caviaring your nails, My hexagon glitters, just I mean a ton of different glitters. And then one of my jars broke and I just put some of the beads or all the little beads in a little baggie. And then I still have room to grow if I want to add more plates, which I do plan on because I'm really been into stamping lately. So that's that box and these are excellent. Go to the craft section and get storage ideas and storage things or shop Goodwill, shop yard sales. And you'll find all the organizing stuff you need. This is the box storage unit that I keep my acrylic nail stuff in. And I keep it in this because it's very convenient. Because I don't, I have natural nails so I don't wear acrylics very often. Um, and I usually do my friend's nails in acrylic. And so this makes it very easy. I got this at Walmart and it's from Snapware for about $6. So the first layer... is actually the liquids, the powders for acrylic ink, uh, nail clippers, the buffing blocks, the brush, dappin' dish, um, bonder, or, and, well, the nail primer, uh, nail dehydrator, and the tools that you need, uh, finishing, or from start to finish, basically, are here, um, and it's really strong, smelly box. <laughs> that acrylic liquid. So the second part out. has like some empty jars and a glitter that I made for acrylic nails. 
Um, just these little tabs. I don't even know why they're in here. But some nail glues. All these glitters. You can make your own glitter. Um, nail polishes out of these. You just use them for nail art. Um, whatever you see fit to use them for. I have white tips here. And just, you know, just a ton of different things. A nail file down there too. I got 500 clear nail tips from eBay. And 500 French tip white acrylic tips and 10 different sizes they range from 0 to 9 in sizes and you cannot beat that for the price that I paid I think like maybe three dollars for 500 tips and I got enough to last a really long time of doing um, friends nails and if I feel like doing acrylic as well okay so that's everything in my nail art supplies slash like just nail care items I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to write and comment as always. And if you haven't checked out part one and two of the collection videos, please go check those out if you're interested in makeup and nail polish. Those are the videos you're looking for. And uh, thank you again for watching.